Hello and welcome to C2K News. This is Rick Hidalgo and today is the 26th day of May 2022. And boy do we have some interesting things to talk about today. We're going to start off with a really tough one. Um, but I think it's something that you need to see because we need to discuss it. We need to talk about it and we need to have a conversation about it. So here it is that bothered him all these years. His pastor in bed with his younger sister, a t-shirt and underwear on. People knew but were too afraid to come forward, and they have now. The lies and the manipulation have to stop. I was a prisoner and you kept me in your prison. I'm a prisoner no longer. I was just 16 when you took my virginity on your office floor. Do you remember that? I know you do, and I have plenty of other stories that I could bring to your remembrance. You did things to my teenage body that had never and should have never been done. If you can't admit the truth, you have to answer to God. You are not the victim here. I tried to tell someone, but all that was done was cover up. No one ever came to me. No one ever helped me. No one ever got me counseling. I have wanted to talk to somebody all of these years and never. You have. You have somebody that you've talked to. I never have. The church deserves to know the truth. This church has been built on lies, but no more. The lies need to stop. I could give story after story after story to what you did to me. Michael, I, your dad is not the victim here. A partial truth is not true. A part If I would have gotten counseling, your dad would be in prison. It might not be the way, but every time you covered up for Russ Spankle, my best friend was my age when your associate pastor was molesting his two daughters. And you know that. You sent him to be a pastor in another church. We can call Melanie right now and Cassie, her sister. They sat down with you. You sent Melanie away. Don't look at me like that. You know the truth. I know, but you can tell the truth because this is a lie. But you need to tell the truth. You know better than it was. Listen. No. My wife is not just adultery, it's another level when it's a teenager. And I will not let this man talk about my wife like that. It happened for nine years when she was 15, 16, the sexual grooming started. And it lasted until she met me and we started dating. This is the truth. And that's all we're going to say. Except, just that's, that's you it. You have numbers? You can talk to that's, my brother. That's fine. This necklace was Bobby's. It was given to her by Joe Lowe II and possibly other people in the office. They might have received necklaces too as like a ministry gift. I'm, I'm not trying to stretch the truth here, but it was in our house and I'm giving it back. This was Bobby's covenant of purity ring, which she wore while this man had sex with her. And she felt ashamed all these years wearing a covenant of purity ring. She felt a lot of shame and guilt. We are working through love and forgiveness. We are working through it. But people have to be held accountable and they can't just, they can't just bamboozle people and just say, well, I just committed adultery. It was far beyond adultery. So here's the covenant purity ring back. I don't want it in my home. We're done. I know that was tough to watch. <clears throat> I did not like watching it either. Kind of brings up memories. Not that I was involved in any of that kind of stuff, but I did have accusations put on me. Not sexual, but I had accusations put on me that were false. I know exactly how 
some of this feels. But I can tell you this. There's a lot of forgiveness that has to go on here. And I don't know this situation. We heard some testimony and it appears to have been validated. So whatever you think of the lady, whatever you think of the pastor, whatever you think of, you know, her husband. That's it doesn't really matter what we think. There's a situation that needs healing. It needs healing because this man did some things that are just unspeakable. And they're bad. You just don't know how else to say it. I mean, the scripture is pretty clear that it'd be better for uh, him to take a millstone tied around his neck and throw himself into the ocean than to mess with his children. And this, uh, you know, this is something you don't come back from, but, you know, he's he's got more life to live. He's got to experience forgiveness too. Um... <clears throat> It's it's a tough one to hear about, but we need to talk about it because, guys, this has probably happened in so many 501c3 churches, and I'm, I'm going to tag it that way, okay? Because, let's face it, um, there's a lot of hirelings in these churches, churches, 501c3s, and that's that's intentional. Let's get it right. That's intentional. If we really, really believed that Jesus was given all authority in heaven and earth and that we could actually have uh, on earth as it is in heaven, if we really believed that, we wouldn't be playing church. We wouldn't just be playing these games, coming and, you know, hearing a sermonette, being convicted, going to the altar, praying, asking for forgiveness, singing some songs, making visitations, and then coming back and doing it all again. Where's the where's the infrastructure? Where's the life? Where's the the victory in all of that? That's there's just so much more that the ecclesia is supposed to be and we have to have this conversation. We cannot have pastors Pastors, the Bible calls them hirelings, that are in the pulpit deceiving people, preaching one thing from their mouth and living another. We can't have that. And, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm perfect, because I'm not. I'm not. You know, lust, I, I see a beautiful woman and it's kind of like wow you know she's beautiful I'm not ashamed to admit that I can see beauty okay but I can tell you this <laughs> I kind of know it's hands off okay because I don't have a covenant with that woman I don't have a covenant I have a covenant with one woman that's my wife. That covenant is serious. It's for real. I mean, when we made that that journey to decide to make a covenant with one another, that ended everything. I mean, that ended everything. And we've made mistakes. Oh, trust me, we have made mistakes. My my wife and I are imperfect. We definitely are imperfect. Man, that covenant is serious, and we take that covenant seriously. We have had to forgive each other. There have been things, you know, words that we have said to each other that have been very damaging. There have been times when I was a horrible husband. Uh, I could tell you that story. Horrible. It's not providing. In a, in a proper way. And I... You know, there's a lot to be discussed about that too, but... 
I was not living uh, in, in such a way as to where I I could uh, really honestly say that I was providing for her any kind of life whatsoever. And that's that's a bad that's a bad place to be. And you know we came close we came close to ending that covenant. There were times. But you know, God convicted both of us of things that we had in our imagination and in our lives that weren't supposed to be there. And today we are closer than we have ever been. Literally closer. I love that woman with all of my heart. And she knows it because she sees the way I treat her. She treats, she understands, you know, the choices I make. We don't see eye to eye on everything, you know. This thing that I do here, this podcast, <laughs> she wouldn't do it. But, you know, she understands my calling. She understands where we're at. So, guys, as hard as that was to watch, We've really got to have that conversation and we've got to we've got to get to a place where on heaven as it is, excuse me, on earth. <laughs> yeah, I wish on earth as it is in heaven becomes real, real to us. That is our goal. That is what we're supposed to be doing. And we have been very, very bad at it for a very long time very long time so there you go I hope that <clears throat> that was impactful to you in some way speaking of impactful if you are experiencing any kind of pain um, physical pain I have got a great option for you guys <clears throat> these QE strong patches are amazing You've got to see this. Are you in pain? I am. I cut meat for a living, and as a meat man, I have a really sore thumb on my cutting hand. I recently went to a conference where I was introduced to a pain patch that I fell in love with. QE Strong has a line of incredible products that relieve pain. The special patches emanate a frequency that is scientifically proven to bring fast pain relief. I know it works because I use it. To get some of these patches, go to www.c2kreport.com and click on the QE Strong box on the homepage. Click on the QE Strong box on our homepage. Then click the check availability button and order a few boxes of skin patches today order some for yourself and order some to give away to your neighbors thank you QE Strong for partnering with the C2K Report alright I ain't gonna make this too long but um, share it do it whatever they call it on the TikTok thing I'm not I'm not a big TikTok person I do this because I gotta talk to somebody and I might as well not talk to myself Right? So, here's the thing. One of my contractors called me and told me about the Bakersfield Dairy Farm. Uh, Bakersfield, California. 14,000 head of dairy cattle. Gone. No longer in production. The off farm's been auctioned off. They're taking it back to bare earth. They've already started demolishing it. They're not going to leave the production facility, the pastures, the stalls, the barns. They even tore down the house that's been there for generations. So think about this. 19 food production facilities gone. A couple blown up, a couple burned down, a plane flew into one. And the largest milk producer on the west coast of the United States of America, gone. What about that $11 gallon of milk? Start thinking, because you better start having a plan. Okay, what do you guys think about that? 
What do you think about the fact that the largest dairy producer on the West Coast, gone, out of production, no longer providing anything. In fact, even the facilities, if somebody wanted to buy it, go in and start it up again, all gone. The head of cattle, gone. What do you say, 14,000? Guys, um, I'm not one to panic, and I'm not. you're never going to see me panic, okay? Because I know that the Lord's much bigger than this. He's got more cattle on the hills than, than this dairy production did. But this is going to set a massive crimp in not just the milk market, okay? But the market's period. Um, when when we start to lose uh, production, this is Babylonian production too, right? It's their infrastructure. They're all registered companies of Babylon. Every last one of them, registered companies of Babylon. Now keep that in mind. If they're registered in Babylon, then that means Babylon's got the uh, they've got the authority, the the administration over them. Okay, they can they can tax them. They can do all the things that Babylon loves to do, okay? Babylon's milking the milk producers. <laughs> of course they are. That's what Babylon does. They milk. They milk us. As long as they have any any um, interest whatsoever, any compelling interest, they are going to milk you, okay? So what, what I want to say about this so I want to show everybody um, another example of why the Ecclesia needs its own infrastructure. Okay? If the Ecclesia had milk producers, okay, not only would we be uh, able to run things more efficiently because we wouldn't have the heavy hand of regulation that actually, you know, lessens the efficiency but we would have the blessing of God have we ever thought about the fact that Abraham was one of the wealthiest actually the most wealthy person in the world in his day you know why because the Lord counted it onto him for righteousness he was given a blessing the blessing was on Abraham why because he obeyed he had obedience he did things God's way, and that's exactly the point, right? What's our instructions? What what was the instructions, the indenture that we were left with? Okay, as bond servants of Christ, as 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 I call everybody, uh, private Levitical privateers, right? Private Levitical kingdom privateers. What 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 is it that is it our our indenture? Our indenture is to baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and to teach them to observe His ways. Okay? His ways. We are supposed to be implementing His ways. His ways. You can find them all throughout the Bible. The Old Testament is literally a book of His ways. Okay? And Jesus demonstrated what that looks like in the New Covenant. Alright? So, where is it? Where are his ways? All we see is Babylon's ways because Babylon comes down on these companies and says, nope, you're going to do this, 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 and this. And it's inefficient. It's not right. It's not good. All right? We have to have Ecclesia infrastructure, and here is a perfect example of it. Where's the Ecclesia milkers? Hmm? Where are they? Ecclesia milkers, where are you? I know of a place in Missouri, okay, because I've interviewed this couple before. Amazing. They got a dairy, but they can't supply that much milk. Okay? They can't supply that much milk. Not they can't, you know. But we do have uh, what you could say is the beginning of Ecclesia infrastructure. But we need everybody who is Ecclesia to unregister from Babylon and come and start an Ecclesia infrastructure. Do it for the purpose of God's kingdom. To benefit. The, the beneficiaries are all the people of the earth. 
All right. That is what we need to be doing. And that's why I wanted to bring this forward to you so that you could see it. It is time. It is high time that we exit Babylon and started doing things according to God's ways. Oh, deep breath, Rick. Deep breath. Okay. So there it is. And speaking of God's ways, there are things that God put on this earth for us to take that would lessen the illness or even stop an illness from coming. Zinc is one of those things. Dr. Zelenko's protocol is fantastic. And if you aren't, aren't part of Z-Stack, you might want to get a hold of some Z-Stack. Here's how. We are living in times of Babylonian desperation, and no one knows what pestilence will be released next. But it's not a time to fear. God's healers are stepping up to the plate all over the earth. There is no better example than Dr. Zelenko's protocol. Dr. Zelenko's Z-Stack is proven to maintain your immune system and keep it resilient and resistant. Go to c2kreport.com and click the Z-Stack logo to join the thousands of people building a resilient and resistant immune system. Save 5% by entering coupon code C2K at checkout. Thank you, Dr. Zlinko, for partnering with C2K. Hi, my name is Amanda Ensing, and I am the CEO and founder of Elevate Beauty. I started building Elevate back in 2018, so I've been keeping it a secret a very long time. I was sitting on the couch one day, and I was like, Lord, what do you want me to name this beauty brand? It just like pinged right into my spirit, and I heard Elevate, and I was like, Elevate? That's beautiful. The word Elevate takes on so many different meanings, from rising above everything else to being the best version of yourself possible. One of Elevate's goals is to offer some light in such a dark and toxic industry with great ingredients, great formulas, and most importantly, a brand that you don't see outer beauty, but you see inner beauty and you see the goodness of God. I couldn't have picked a better name. The meaning of Elevate, I believe, will unravel as you guys get to try the brand experience and grow with the brand and as we grow our community and i so look forward to what god's doing here with elevate beauty congratulations to amanda insing for her brand new company elevate beauty <clears throat> amanda if you're watching if you're listening please we want to interview you here on c2k news or the c2k report so uh guys this is what we need but we need this on the Ecclesia side. We don't need registered companies in Babylon. Now, whether Amanda registered it or not, I don't know, but I'm guessing she probably did because, you know, that's what lawyers do. They tell you to to register things in Babylon. Um, everybody's surrounded by attorneys these days, and that's what they do. They have torn you away from the gift of God and into Babylon. So Babylon could literally crush you with regulation. So, um, just wanted to show you that uh, real quick because I'm I'm very, very happy for Amanda. I hope that she does well with her company. And we here at C2K News hope to support her in some way. I'm not a makeup guy. Don't wear it. But, um, you know, I could support her because she's a wonderful woman of God who has a new makeup company. Congratulations. Bless her. So, um Guys, also want to remind you, the Epic Times, okay, very important paper. They tell the truth. They have a lot of information on there. They even have like a new Ep Epoch Times TV, which is really cool because they got documentaries on there that are really, really, really important for the days that we live in. Um, so I want you to check that out. But if you need the Epic Times, this is where you subscribe for cheap here at C2K. Check this out. Are you tired of fake news and cancel culture? <laughs> Me too. Stay informed and stay free by subscribing to the only paper that I read, The Epic Times. Subscribe today and get The Epic Times for just $1 the first month. Yes, that's right, just $1 the first month. And because you're a listener of the C2K Report, you'll get a discounted monthly subscription of just $77, not the $99 that everybody else has to pay, but 
the $77 that you as a C2K listener get to have. So simply use the promo code C2K to enjoy the lowest rate available. Go to C2KReport.com, click on the Epic Times logo on our homepage, and it'll bring you here. Simply enter the promo code C2K to enjoy the lowest savings ever. Thank you, Epic Times, for partnering with the C2K Report.